know, every uh, every generation, there's sort of like a word that you know seems to come into fashion. It's like a trend word, and it, like it's fully over, over, over abused. <laughs> I can't even speak. You know, it just gets you know, ha you know, absolutely harangued. Like the one that really gets me at the moment, and I get it a lot. Um, being sent in, you know, in media releases from bands that say such and such had an epic year. It was an epic tour with the epic album with an epic... And you're going, oh man, I bet it wasn't epic. I bet it wasn't. You can't tell me that a whole year of five stinky guys crushed in a Tarago was epic. I mean, there must have been times that it wasn't so epic, like the nights you had to sort of sleep in one room together or maybe... I don't know when some girl you picked up on a, on a tour somewhere gave you sort of a bad case of crabs. Or maybe that wasn't epic. And maybe all the roadhouses you got to stop at and eat all that fried food. Maybe that wasn't epic. Maybe there were some moments on the road that weren't epic. I think in the use of the word epic, um, people are sort of overdoing it. Because when you actually do have something in your life happen that's epic, you've got nothing left to describe it with. It's like the word awesome. Like You can't overabuse those words because you never really understand how great life can get. You know, things just aren't epic. You know, it was kind of good and kind of not good. That's what you should be saying. Like, you can't go around saying things like, oh, dinner was epic. No, it wasn't. Not unless Jesus prepared it, and it was called The Last Supper, and that was how the media release went out, Last Supper, prepared by Jesus. That's an epic dinner, right? Otherwise, it's just dinner. And if it's good, it's like, wow, that was delicious. It was awesome. It wasn't epic. Epic sort of, um, I don't know. I think, I think things that are epic for me, for instance, would be... Um, Nature, nature has some epic, like, you know, the ocean, big things, like the ocean is epic, like it's huge, you know, space out there, you know, the sky, the, the cosmos, the universe is epic. You can't compare dinner to that. Like I don't think you can compare dinner or a year for a band to the universe. I think that's a little bit full on. Uh, some books are epics. Um, the Bible is an epic. Uh, Probably because it's got the big dinner scene in there with Jesus, which is an epic, and there's a lot of oceans. Parting of oceans, like parting an ocean. Like, I have to say, that's epic. I think, I think the only person that could actually use the word epic pretty well in their common day usage would be Jesus, because he had a lot of epic moments, you know, that you just go, wow, that was epic, Jesus. Like, the way you turn that water into wine, epic. <laughs> you know, because I don't... I don't know people that can do that. They can go to the bottle shop and get wine, which is kind of awesome if they're a bit drunk and they've managed to get down and get back without getting picked up. But, you know, I'd say that's illegal, probably a bit risky, and it was really, you know, a good outcome. But I wouldn't say it was epic. Um, but Jesus, however, he doesn't even leave the room. He goes, turns the tap on, water, there it is, wine. Awesome, Jesus, awesome. So, you know, for me, epic, you know, is one of those words I think we've got to be a little bit careful with. I mean, I hate, um, epic's never been like, if, it, if I see a film and they say it's an epic, I go, don't go. Because it's one of those films where clearly, you know, they haven't had enough money to employ an editor and it just runs for about 15 hours and you go, there's too much story. You know, epics are not enjoyable. Uh, epics are, in fact, too long. And I think when we say things are epic, you go, oh, shit, it'll go forever. I haven't got time for an epic. So when it comes to narratives, stories, universes, Yes, epics. But, you know, general life stuff, not. I think it's time. we got other words like, you know, I know. Remember the 80s, everyone used to say, or was it 90s? Sorry. I think it was the 90s, everyone used to go, oh, that's gnarly. Gnarly. You know, which is sort of embarrassing, but, you know, I still use gnarly and the kids think it's a bit funny. You know, wicked, awesome, all those kind of words have been in the past. You know, probably, I think the 50s was big on cool, <laughs> which is gorgeous because it's so daggy. But I think epic is probably the most overused one. I'm just not into epic. I think we need to create a new word and I think it's time to set the trend, not to be a, a trend follower. So I think it's time we found a word we really liked and used it to describe things that felt good. Uh, I don't know, like a word that we like the sound of, like, that was tops. Tops not good. Maybe gusset. Gusset's like my favorite word. Maybe we could do that. That is totally gusset. Sounds good, I reckon. I reckon it's good. Look at that sky. It's totally gusset. Have an epic week.